Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the error of missing msvcp100.dll in Windows. This error may show up when you try to run certain applications on your computer or when starting or shutting down Windows, and sometimes when trying to install new Windows on your computer. In any of these cases, it's likely that your msvcp100.dll file is either missing, corrupt, or outdated. So let's go ahead and see how to get that fixed. So first, if you are getting this error when trying to run certain programs or applications, then it implies that such application has been developed with certain runtime components that require Visual C++ libraries to run. So likely your computer doesn't have Visual C++ 2010 installed on it, or in some cases the required Visual C++ libraries are either corrupt or outdated. To fix this error, you need to simply install the required Visual C++ libraries or replace the existing ones, which may be corrupt or outdated with the most recent package. For this particular case, I will need to install the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable package, both the 32-bit and 64-bit versions. But before that, I need to check if I have these packages already installed and to do that, I will go to my search and type Add or Remove Programs. Then click on the Add or Remove Programs from the search results. It should take you to this App and Features page in the settings. Here you should scroll down to see if you already have the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable packages installed. If you have too many programs, you can also use the search box here to narrow down the listed programs. Remember you need to have both the 32 and 64-bit versions of this package. Now in my case, I don't have these packages installed, but if you find these packages on your list and you still get this error message, then it could be that these packages are corrupt or outdated, as the case may be. In that case, you will first need to uninstall them one after the other, and then install new ones. To do that, simply click on each package and then select Uninstall from the option, and then do that for both packages. With that done, I will go ahead to download the latest version of these packages from Microsoft Download Center. I will leave a direct download link in the video description. So here we search Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable. I can already see that from the suggestion. So first I will open the page of the 32-bit version. Then modify the search for the 64-bit version. And by the way, it doesn't matter which order you install these packages, it will work just fine either ways. Here, as you can see, it says Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable package installs runtime components for Visual C++ libraries required to run applications developed with Visual C++ on a computer that doesn't have Visual C++ 2010 installed. So here I will go ahead and click on download. Then double click on the downloaded file and hit yes on the user account control. Here I will accept the license terms and then click install. After a short while, you should see this page saying the installation is complete. So here click finish. And now do the same for the 32-bit version. After the installations, you should see both versions of these libraries in the Apps and Features page in your settings. Now simply restart your computer and you should have your applications running fine with no more errors. 
And that's it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. If you have any questions or comments, you can always drop in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.